Hey, I wonder if they got that little floss thing. Maybe. You should check into it. Do you need to get paper for you? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can tell, it is Sunday, it is the next day, and we ended up going to Costco earlier today. We went to church. After church, we dropped off Emma and Adrian at my mom's house, and we went to the gym, worked out. That's why it looked like such a beautiful hot mess right now. But we went and worked out. And then after that, we went to Costco. We got some groceries and I'm gonna do like a quick little mini grocery haul. But if you guys are new here, my name is Veronica. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having a blessed, blessed day. And let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I ended up picking up. I'm actually making flautas right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip of the grocery haul. All right, guys, so this is some of the stuff we ended up getting from Costco. I know that you guys like for me to share like what I eat throughout the day and stuff like that. And when we ended up picking up. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what we ended up getting from Costco. First of all, I love this Chinese style salad kit. I buy this all the time and it's one of my favorites. I can literally eat this all day. So we ended up getting two because we're probably going to finish that in a couple of days. And then I ended up getting this Foxy Organic Salad, um, which is what I usually use. I cut this up and use it with this kit. All right, so I also ended up picking up some Mexican style blended cheese because we use this for everything. So we ended up getting a two pack cuties for the kids for Emma and Adrian because they like those. And sometimes I have that for my breakfast. Anthony says that this is gonna be really delicious. So we ended up getting that cereal for him to try. Emma is literally on my leg right now. <laughs> We also got seasoned rotisserie chicken, which we're going to make flautas with today. I honestly haven't had carbs all day today, and it's been like barely anything for food. So I'm going to have some flautas along with that with Anthony. I cut up the lettuce as well for the flautas, and I put sour cream on it. It's really good. Another thing that we ended up picking up is Dave's Killer Bread. This is Anthony's favorite, so he ended up getting two. We're going to freeze one, and then he's going to use that one now. And I really like these um, egg whites. Uh, I'm sorry, these are not egg whites. I didn't get the egg, <laughs> egg white ones, but this one's really good too, is the uh, bacon and cheese egg bites. So this one is really good for the morning, on the go, like fast, eating breakfast or after I come home from the gym and I need some protein, I'll just have some of those. And I really like these chicken breast burrito bowls. They're so, so good. And the carbs on these, let's see, not the carbs, but the calorie counts on these, the macros are 390 for the full bowl. And honestly, I can only eat half and it gets me so full. But yeah, if you eat one full one, it's only 390. So these are super good for like fast eating, um, healthy meals. And then we ended up picking up the lasagna that comes with two pack. That's for Anthony. And I saw a pineapple. I definitely had to pick this up. I'm gonna cut this up today so I can have for like my snacks throughout the day. And I love, love these organic adamamas. They're so, so good. And these have a lot of protein in them and they're only 110 calories for half a cup. So it's really, really good on the calorie count. And the amount of proteins that they have is, let's take a look, I can't find it. 12, uh, I'm sorry, 11 grams of protein. Anthony really likes these mangoes for dessert or for like snacks. So he ended up picking that up. And then I love squash. So I ended up picking up this bag so I can make my omelets in the morning or have this with my vegetables, rice and chicken meals and stuff like that. And then another thing we ended up picking up was this hickory smoked uncared turkey bacon. It comes with a pack of four. And you guys know that we're into turkey bacon here in the morning. So this is definitely going to last us for a while. Now, I saw this Premier Protein thing. It was only $28. And I love these in the morning. Like if I'm not eating breakfast and I'm going to the gym, I can have this with my coffee. So I add my cup of coffee to this and it gives me 30 grams of protein i either have it before the gym or after the gym because you guys know that i work out in the morning so we ended up picking up this pack of 18. and also we picked up some goldfishes for emma you guys know that she is 
eating goldfish just nonstop all day long, 24 seven. Honestly, that's all she eats. So we ended up picking up that and a watermelon that is not here on the table because I broke it. I opened up the trunk and it fell out and it broke, but obviously we're still gonna eat it and then smash all over or anything. It was just like cracked everywhere and juice is coming out. So that plus waters, we picked up three packs of waters and toilet paper, but I don't think you guys cared to see that. So what is everybody doing as I am I'm making dinner? Little Miss Emster is eating her peaches, looking extremely cute with her little workout outfit. Coco Melon, what's up? The hubby is boxing. Don't worry, I didn't catch you boxing. He's over here boxing. And Hadriancito is playing. What game are you playing, Adrian? Minecraft Dungeons. Minecraft. He got a new PS, what, PS3? Yeah, I bought it um, like two weeks ago. Yeah, he has a PS4, but he got the older one, the PS3, because he wanted to play like his older... Um, Fallout. Yeah, For, other games. PS4. Yeah. Oh, you're playing on PS4. So, yeah. He's so fancy. He has both. Oh, now he needs five. PS5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Going on a night stroll with them, huh? Wow. Cutie, you just stopped right in the middle. So Going on a bear hunt. Huh? We're gonna find a big one. Are you scared? No. Why is it so blurry? We're going on a night walk. We're going on a night walk. We're gonna find a bear. Are you scared? Emma. <laughs> what are you looking at? Punch. punch, Emma, punch. Punch it, punch it. Yeah, good job. Punch it. Punch, <laughs> punch, punch. Do it! Punch it's it. too bright? Is it too bright? Because I'm Good putting it on. Hit it. Exercise. Exercise. You're right. Exercise. <laughs> Good job. Exercise. Good fist. I showed Exercise. her how to make a fist. Exercise. She's like this. Oh. 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 All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and end the vlog because we're starting a new one and I completely forgot to end yesterday's vlog for you guys. But we kind of wanted to talk about, I don't know if you guys seen my previous vlog where I said I was going to talk to you guys about how I went on the birthday party. We kind of wanted to go over something with you guys because on our Q&A, someone asked us if we felt, what was the question? That if, if we were concerned we, about bullying or, right, wasn't it? And she wants me to answer it. If, if we um, get nervous about Emma being excluded um, from other kids. And, and I answered no, <laughs> I guess, because it hasn't, I haven't been put in a situation. And I'd like to think these things about myself, but I can't really control my emotions. And if I would have just waited five hours longer... <laughs> Before answering that question, yeah. because within that five hours, it happened to me for the first time. Should I tell him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're at a birthday party, and all these little kids are jumping on the trampoline. Look at Emma. And then Emma, just like a G, just bounces over there, <laughs> bounces into a Indian position, and sits right next to the kids. You know, and she jumps and bounces, so all the kids are like this, and. Everyone looks at Emma and she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like <laughs> I think she thought it was like circle time at school yeah. because all the kids were in a circle in the trampoline and she was like, Oh, I want to come in circle time. And then she goes, but they in looked like, at her like, like, who is this girl? And then she just lays down and looks at them. And then all the kids start kind of like, I like to say laughing with her, but she wasn't laughing. So I would have to say laughing at her. Um, me off i wanted to go in there and body slam some little kids <laughs> i did i didn't it's just because they didn't to. include her remember how i we were telling you guys that all the kids usually include her which they do whenever we go to the playground they but try they already to play had their with group her. and they were older kids yeah too. they were older kids yeah so but it made me feel like crap i had a knot in my stomach i felt like 
I felt like how I felt when I was little and kids excluded me. Yeah. And that empty, embarrassed, horrible feeling you feel as a kid and nobody, and you're like last to be picked or no one wants to play with you at all. It was that feeling I had, but for Emma. But it was worse, I think, because it was for me and Emma didn't, didn't even really know. Yeah, Emma didn't notice. She was still trying to play with them and trying to, like, do what... He, she was copying what yeah. they were doing. So yeah. the kids were, like, taking out their candy bag and putting it on the floor and, like, just looking at what they got. And she started doing that with her candy bag, but then she wanted to grab the kids' stuff. We had to tell her no. That's what made me feel bad, too, because she was yeah. trying to copy them to feel... Like, fit in. Included. Yeah. And she wasn't... She was sitting out of the circle far back and I was, it just, it pissed me off. I wanted to take her and go home, to be honest. I, I got mad. I, I legit got mad. I felt my face getting hot. I was getting mad like I wanted to take her and just go home. So I don't know what I'm going to do in school. I hope they don't tell me that she gets picked on because I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't. <laughs> yeah, he was so upset. I was like, oh, look, she's trying to play with them. And Anthony was like, I'm going <laughs> to, I need to leave. <laughs> Those kids. But, but they don't know their kids. Yeah, their kids. Yeah, and they, and they kids don't like playing with little kids. Yeah, but then I, then she started pl trying to play with the other little kids that are around her age, and that was cute. Yeah. She was trying to go into the house where they were in and just chilling with the little girls that were like three or four. And there was some three year olds in that circle, and I guess what is they didn't really include her either. But what Emma, when the little kids were by themselves, just all the little little kids. They then kinda, they were yeah. like trying to play yeah but yeah that was our experience because we talked soon about the whole like bullying and about like being excluded and wanting to fit in and then we got a taste of that medicine yeah spoke right too now. soon yeah but emma definitely like i feel like she's wanting to communicate with kids now she wants to play especially now that she's going to school it's just so hard for her to to know how to play with them Part of me almost wonders if I even want her to have neurotypical friends. I'm sure you do. I'm sure she will. She just... I she'll learn. Yeah, but that's basically what we wanted to share with you guys because the question that you guys asked literally happened to us this weekend. Within hours. Within hours, yeah. We had just filmed that video and then we went to the... And we waited thing. forever to videotape it too. Yeah. So it was like a lesson learned. But... Don't speak about situations you haven't really been <laughs> yeah. in. Don't assume. Yeah. But we got to go in and then we'll start a new vlog. Thank you guys for watching and have a great, great, little, bleh, bleh, bleh. you can end it. <laughs> um, great rest of your day. Yeah, <laughs> Bye.